Hey, you gonna be a really fat Sonic? Well, you can play this uh, Timbo the Badass Elephant by the, the Pokemon people in the Game Freak. Um, I remember playing this thing. It Honestly, it's kind of forgettable for what it is. It's, but it, it was like, oh man, he's got a bandana on. He's Timbo. It's just like Rambo except for an elephant. And you can smash on people with your tusk and shit. Um, so, it's one of them um, one and done's. Played it, deleted it, forgot about it. Uh, come back years later to review it, and hopefully I remember a little bit about the game. But no, it's 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 kind of like Sonic in a lot of ways. You kind of you build up momentum. You guys fucking slow as fuck until he gets going, and you start smashing up through shit, and then you're just smashing through crap. Your big fat elephant, and then you break shit. That's normally how you do everything. Um, and you get you get some rolls and some special moves and stuff like that. But uh, this overall is fairly forgettable. But that's, that's okay with a lot of these indie games. There's 70,000 million of them. Some of them are super standout. And it, well, I mean, it's not really indie. Sega fucking published it. We'll call it it's Sega's indie game, all right? Um, but, you know, sometimes you just want to play some dumb shit and uh, dumb platformers. I'm not much into platformers these days. But something about this just kind of took me, I guess, being a fat elephant. It was being a fat elephant. That's what we don't need to keep around. We're going to be a fat elephant and run over little dudes. Um, and. I can't really recommend it these days. Um, it, it's something that it don't take too long. I think I beat it in four or five hours or whatever it was, and uh, just forgot about it. But you know, we're going through and reviewing all the old shit, Kitty. All of my whole catalog. Kitty's like, that's dumb. It is dumb, and I'm going to do it because I decided I'm going to do it. I said it three years ago in some video, no one watched it. I was going to do it. But yeah, we're going to do it. All right. So, um, Tembo has no sequels he was forgotten about but it was actually it was unique because it was done by the pokemon people game freak it's like they, they probably got tired of making forty thousand damn pokemons and so um you know sega will publish their goofy ass weird shit sega doesn't know what the fuck they're doing um so i went through this platformer in an afternoon or two um being a fat elephant running over little guys and smashing up shit uh i can't recommend it kitty we it's not an awful game Kitty, you give a, you give a, a sympathy paw. Kitty is going to give a sympathy paw one up because it's not actually terrible; it's just forgettable, um, and that can be kind of damning in its own right. Um, Brian says, "Fuck it, what the fuck is this game?" Uh, it's one of our, it was on our list to review. Kitty, we reviewed it. We played through it back in the day. We were excited. We were excited in 2015. Where the fuck this came out? 